What is up guys, McDouble's back again with a brand new video and today we're going to be doing the best melee builds of Project Ascension Season 7 in 2021. So if you're playing some random WoW and you need a melee build to start off the game with, you're in the right place. I'm going to go over the best ones that you can play with that will ultimately lead you down a path of success where you can pick up a random enchant that will have synergy with what you chose that will go towards a certain theme for something that you want to play that will also be good so that you can enjoy everything from start to finish when you play random project ascension wow so i hope you guys enjoy this guide so to speak let's jump right in okay so we're going to be breaking this video down into two primary categories of melee build the first of which is your traditional physical based melee build and the next of which will be the hybrid melee that will incorporate some kind of magic physical melee build play style so we're going to start off with the melee builds the first melee build to talk about is hemo execute and this can be kind of difficult because obviously neither of these are things that you will get at level one in project ascension typically i recommend just going with the typical sinister strike start that we'll talk about in a moment and just hoping you get what you need later down the line of course you can also use skill cards to guarantee the hemo or the execute some other abilities that you might want to pick up if you go with the hemo execute start would definitely be things like cleave or mortal strike you could go with a variety of different legendary random enchants like let's say demolisher or even blood and guts if you were to pick up the eviscerate typically you're going to want to use a two-handed weapon for a hemo execute build and you're going to be hitting really Really, really hard you're spamming the hemo going for the sudden death procs on the execute and hopefully spamming cleave or heroic strike along with it for pretty massive damage and wind fury is obviously quite good for a build like this as well possibly even essential but Rockbiter can work. One thing you could choose to do is grab the epic enchant Rush of Blood, which not only increases the critical strike chance of hemorrhage by 20%, but it makes it to where your hemorrhage crits will make your next ambush usable outside of stealth and cost 20 less energy this can be massive damage and you're essentially playing a vampire build so if you like the idea of that just go hemorrhage hope you get the ambush which means you would want the stealth and then bada bing bada boom you're playing a vampire melee but as i said blood and guts is quite good ambidextrous is a very interesting one of course this is mostly with the execute portion of the hemo execute but if you were to pick up or get lucky enough to grab the bloodthirst and the rend with hemo and execute you would have a pretty solid dual wielding build with a 50% chance to trigger an instant attack with your main hand weapon and increase your attack power by 10% for 6 seconds and of course bloodthirst and execute and rend will all trigger an instant attack with your offhand weapon when you use them and increase your offhand damage by 40% these are just some of the effects of ambidextrous that can be very very strong with the hemo execute build and you can also grab another epic enchant called a quick death which is basically going to guarantee you 15% melee haste at all times as long as you're spamming that execute whenever you can okay another good build that we already kind of mentioned would be just going sinister strike and eviscerate this is very very popular at low levels because you can guarantee the sinister strike at level one as with all of the melee builds i could just say right now wind fury is going to be quite good and you're always going to want some kind of gap closer like charge sprint blink feral charge if you were cat form or anything like that but with ss and abyss you really can't lose slap on a two-handed weapon and there's a variety of different build paths that you can go all of which are incredibly strong so for example you could pick up double down this is a very very popular legendary enchant for melee build players this makes it to where you're going to dual wield and use sinister strike to now hit with both of your weapons but your ss will no longer generate combo points so you're going to be hitting really, really hard with SS, but even though it says you don't generate combo points, you can still work around that and make it happen anyway. The first of which would be by grabbing Sinister Flurry, which gives your SS a chance to deal additional damage and give you an additional combo point. This does work with Double Down. But there's also talents that you can get. For example, in the Subtlety Tree, you could pick up Honor Among Thieves. Every three seconds, you're guaranteed a combo point with this. But perhaps more importantly, you could pick up Seal Fate. This makes it to where when you crit with SS, you are guaranteed a combo point. And it also increases the damage of your Eviscerate, so there's some really, really good double dipping here with your talents. Not to mention other talents in the Combat Rogue Tree, like Aggression for 15% more SS and Avis crit. And you can see right off the bat that this is a very, very simple, yet effective start 
for melee players, and you'll often see people playing Sinister Strike as a result of both the ease of access and the strength that you get with a build like that. SS builds can also build out into a variety of different things, namely hybrid builds that we'll talk about later on. So it's also very versatile. All right, another really good typical physical melee build would be playing a cat build. Cats can be built in a variety of different ways, one of which we'll talk about later on in the hybrid section, and the others of which are pretty solid physical damage typical melee build. So one of the most popular ways to play cat right now is with razor claws. This makes it to where you're not using mangle except to get the debuff perhaps, but you're not going to be using shred. What you're going to be spamming is claw. Claw is going to cost 10 less energy with this, but deal additional damage equal to 20% of my attack power. It's also going to extend the duration of rake and rip on my target and give me a stacking physical damage buff and including a damage buff for rip. Uh, this is pretty massive and very, very strong. You can also do some really cool stuff with cat builds, like for example, starting off with a hunter pet. If you do this, your berserk ability, which lets you go hard with mangle, will also give berserk to your hunter pet, just straight up increasing its damage by 20% for the duration. You know, if you were to combine that with just getting your typical bestial wrath ability out of the BM hunter tree, you're looking at a massive 50% damage increase to your pet. And as you can see, Bestial Wrath is usable while shapeshifted, so it's meant to be. All right, so another very easy build, another great one that you can do for melee if you want to play melee only, is a melee hunter build. This is one that people often mess up because they don't understand how a lot of the scaling works with these abilities, so let me go ahead and explain it to you. First of all, you're going to want to start off with Mongoose Bite and Raptor Strike. Some people forego the Raptor Strike and they still go with something like Heroic Strike or Cleave. As long as you have one of them you should be fine but you're also going to want to nail the counter attack later down the line and these are going to be your initial standard rotational abilities for melee hunter so the way melee hunter works is that it focuses on one specific talent called killer instinct this gives you three percent crit but more importantly you have a hundred percent chance to proc counter attack after you use mongoose spider or explosive shot on your target this means you now have a surefire way to guarantee the counterattack on your opponent. So that's how you guarantee your initial filler combo, so to speak. But what legendary random enchants are there to use? Well, interestingly enough, you could still go Demolisher. You could pick up the Mortal Strike and you could stack it up enough after using this new Demolishing Strike. And then you could use Demolishing Strike to get enough stacks to eventually make your Mongoose Bite guaranteed to critically strike. And you basically hit twice with it because the Mongoose Bite bite procced in this way will not trigger its cooldown. You can also go deadly bite though. This makes it to where your mongoose bite and counter attack abilities will also apply a bleed effect to the target for eight seconds and that bleed effect stacks up to five times. It also makes it to where your raptor strike will do 15% more damage. So you can see the synergy. Now one way that I personally like to play this build is a charged up build. This is one where you grab explosive shot which already has some innate synergies there with procking the counter attack and it makes it to where your mongoose bite and counter attack will refresh the duration of your explosive shot on the target making it to where you can get some pretty massive burst damage in Lastly, this one is a physical build that is honestly near and dear to home, and that's just Rend OP, which is Rend and Overpower. Now, you can't get both of these at level 1, but you can get the Rend portion of it. I also recommend picking up Sinister Strike as it's very versatile and will actually fill in the gap a bit while you're leveling. Rend OP completely focuses around one talent, and that is the Taste for Blood talent. Later on, you'll be able to couple it with other talents that help to increase its power like Unrelenting Assault, and you can also pick up the Mortal Strike, which will gain extra damage the more overpower stacks you get on a target with the Strength of Arms talent. Overall, it's very jam-packed with synergy. You can go the full 2H route, picking up things like Two-Handed Weapon Mastery in the Arms Warrior tree, and even dipping into the Retribution Paladin tree for Two-Handed Weapon spec, and you will literally be a crit machine. And you can also get things like Wrecking Crew, which after landing a crit will just give you a base blanket amount of extra damage, 15%. The best random enchant to use for this would be Demolisher. This changes your Mortal Strike into Demolishing Strike, which is a far harder hitting ability. And this ability is actually going to be incredibly strong because it gives you a stacking buff for up to 10% increased physical damage. And when you reach 10 stacks, you can use Repost, Mongoose Bite if you got it, or Expose Armor to do an even better version of the traditional effect that it gives you. I highly recommend finding a way to include the Expose Armor. This could mean you use your 
Sinister Strike to gain combo points, or you end up picking Hemo with the build, which would be Hemorrhage from previous builds that we mentioned, because what this will overall do is reduce the target's armor by such a crazy amount that your damage will be through the roof. And that, my friends, would be the pure physical melee builds. Now let's jump into the hybrid builds. Okay, so hybrid builds come in a variety of different shapes and sizes, but we're going to talk about four specific ones that you can get a pretty good start for early on and turn it into something very strong later down the line with some particularly potent legendary and epic random enchants. The first one I'll talk about is one that we alluded to in the caster video because this is a frost hybrid build. For a good frost hybrid build, you're going to want to start with frost bolt, very bare minimum, because you're going to be using something called maelstrom weapon to guarantee instant frost bolts on your opponent. But it is paramount that you grab the lava lash as well because the main linchpin of this build is the ice lash, legendary random enchant that turns your lava lash into ice lash, which completely and utterly makes the build from scratch. Now, when TBC comes out, the build becomes slightly stronger in some ways with the addition of Ice Lance, but it is perfectly viable without it. There's not a lot of versatility here. It plays with that one Ice Slash random enchant. You're going to want to try to get the Frostbrand weapon as well. Frostbrand weapon is incredibly good because number one, there are epic enchants that will directly synergize with it and just overall make a Frost build just a reckoning, right, in PvP. The first of which is Chilling Blows. This makes it where every time you hit somebody with Frostbrand Weapon, you increase the duration of Deep Freeze by 0.3 seconds. Now what's cool about this, if you don't know, is that Deep Freeze is a Frost Mage stun that requires your opponent to have been frozen before you can use it on them. You can almost perma-stun somebody if you do this right, with enough haste and the right procs. There's also a relatively new one right here called Freezing Strike that's just blatantly OP. Frostbrand Weapon deals 30% or 10% more damage depending on if it's against a player or not and that's just a flat bonus and if you deal damage with storm strike it will now grant you a charge of fingers of frost which pre-tbc is simply going to make your frost bolt crit but once tbc hits will basically guarantee your ice lance to hit really hard very very strong and then you have some other blatant random enchants that just immediately speak to you and just feel good with a ice hybrid build and that's like bolt and brand right 15 percent more frost brand weapon damage if your opponent is affected by frost bolt and they always will be overall it's a very safe yet very bursty and strong build that you can dominate with but still be melee and it's one of the few builds that doesn't require Wind Fury. All right, the next one we have is playing a typical nature hybrid or let's just say a shaman, right? This is one that will just use things like Lightning Bolt, which you could start with, and Chain Lightning, and also Lightning Shield. You'll use these alongside Storm Strike to do some pretty massive hybrid damage, throwing out the instant cast Lightning Bolts and hitting like a truck. There's a little bit less flair to it compared to playing an Ice version of the build, but that doesn't make it any less strong. There are some pretty cool random a chance you can get centered around the lightning shield like lightning discharge this makes it to where lightning bolt and chain lightning will cause lightning shield to supercharge it will increase its damage by a hundred percent and make it discharge stunning nearby enemies it's a really cool one when you're trying to train somebody down and you're just going as fast as you can with your feral wolves right and your storm strike your lightning bolts are shooting out like a lot of these hybrid builds there aren't very many ways to play it it's just one main way but you're going to want to have static shock to capitalize on that lightning shield as well which we've talked about in a previous video that i'll link in the description below if you want to see it in action lava lash can still be quite good now you can either go with the eccentric elementalist legendary random enchant this makes to where any of the shaman spells you will be casting will have a chance to cast an additional random shaman spell this will work off procced lightning bolts or you could just go with something simple like Stormbringer. this makes it to where all of your damaging abilities will have a chance to strike your opponent with lightning dealing nature damage which will be in increased by storm strike as well as different modifiers you could have with your talents depending on which way you go but more importantly is a guaranteed slow on a build that wouldn't otherwise have one baked in i do highly recommend the Stormbringer. Another hybrid build is Cat Form, as we alluded to earlier, but this one's going to use a brand new legendary random enchant called Predator's Wrath. To make this build work, you're going to want to start with a Cat Form skill card as well as the Wrath ability. Predator's Wrath is quite cool. First of all, it works off Predatory Strikes, which is going to give you instant cast healing touches. Essentially, it is a Cat Form talent that not only increases your melee attack power, but gives you a 100% chance after using a 5 combo point ability to get a free instant cast Druid Nature 
Hunter's spell off, and that is often used with uh, Regrowth and Healing Touch. But in this case, we can now also use it, courtesy of Predator's Wrath, with Wrath. And not only can we use Wrath, but Wrath is going to be enhanced when cast in this way. Not only will it give you 30 energy and restore 15% of your base mana, and this is every time, by the way, that you proc it, but it also gives you a buff called Predator's Wrath that causes all of your cat form abilities to deal additional nature damage. That's freaking amazing. It is a true cat hybrid, and I think that really rubs people the right way. I think that's something that people have been wanting to see. It's honestly one of the best random enchants that has come out in a bit. But, as always, when you have to rely on something that comes from a skill card, it can be very difficult to build stuff like this. Luckily, cat form is a hell of a lot easier to get this season than your regular draft, so I highly recommend trying Predator's Wrath if it strikes your fancy, right? Another really good hybrid build you could play is a Paladin build. You're going to want to start with Seal of righteousness as well as judgment and hopefully transition later on into abilities like crusader strike and divine storm this build is very similar to the one i'm currently playing in my current playthroughs so if you like the damage and you like the play style of those videos you'll like this build if you want to play this you definitely want to pick up the consecrated strikes legendary random enchant this is bar none the best one for a more physically based version of the build and I do highly recommend it. It's a completely different playstyle from the SP version, a lot more in your face, a lot less kiting, but it does have a lot of versatility and I highly recommend you play it if you like that. Alright, the last hybrid build I want to talk about is one that is, as I've said before with the previous build, but this is still true, I can have multiple dear and near to me builds, uh, but the shadow hybrid guys, I love this one, I've done so many videos on it and let me show you why. First of all, if you want to play a Shadow Hybrid, you need to start with Shadow Bolt and Sinister Strike. This is guaranteed really, really good. Getting Corruption and Charge would be good as well. You can already tell I know more about it because I like it. Now, as we alluded to, there are going to be a lot of different ways you can build a Sinister Strike build. The first of which, though, and the most obvious, is going into a Shadow Hybrid and picking up Master of Shadows. Now, if you end up getting things like Garote, Eviscerate, and Rupture, they're now going to deal additional Shadow damage when you have Master of Shadows. But that's not it. It also scales with your spell power, and your Sinister Strike criticals will give you a buff called Apprentice of Shadows. This is a weird one because it does increase spell haste, but it also increases Shadow Spell spell damage by 20% of your agility for 8 seconds. This goes up to 60% because it can stack up to 3 times. Now, when you stack it up 3 times, your Eviscerate and Rupture will consume the buff and increase your Shadow Spell damage as a result of that by 60% of your agility and increase your Shadow damage done and your Shadow Spell crit by 10% for 10 seconds. In other words, it's a big wombo combo of just massive damage, buffs left and right. You're going to be using the SS, you're going to be tossing out the Shadow Bolts. Another incredibly integral random enchant for this build is an epic one called Shadow Strikes. You're going to want to grab the Shadow Form for sure with this build, and when you have Shadow Form, a talent you should already have called Nightfall will have a chance to trigger from melee damage abilities like Sinister Strike. So now when you're using Sinister Strike, you're going to proc this nightfall talent right here giving you a free shadow bolt and it's just overall so much fun and so incredibly strong i cannot recommend it more so okay guys that is my best melee builds of 2021 for new and returning players just so you know what to grab early on what's going to lead you to something good and maybe if you didn't already know uh broaden your horizons a bit so you know hey that's a build out there that I can play, and it will be strong enough for me to do what I need to do with it, and that's awesome. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like and to subscribe, but I will see you guys in the next video. McDoubles out.